I tell people that the real battle today is not so much over inerrancy of Scripture, it's over the sufficiency of Scripture. The battle over inerrancy, at least theoretically, was won in the late 70s, early to mid 80s. The real battle today is over sufficiency, whether or not God's Word is sufficient, and that battle is being lost today. Everybody today wants to have an experience. They want to hear a still small voice or get dreams, visions from God. And every form of theological mischief that is plaguing the evangelical world today comes from a lack of confidence in the sufficiency of Scripture. God spoke to me. He told me to tell you this. God said this to me. You know, I got a dream. I got a vision. Um, every, every form of theological mischief stems from that. And so that is what we must recover today is a is a, a confidence in the sufficiency of God's Word, not just inerrancy, but it is completely sufficient that we don't need dreams and visions. God doesn't speak to us that way. Um, and you can't, you can't um, evaluate Scripture by your experiences. I, I tell people, lots of people have experiences. Muslims have experiences. Buddhists have experiences. Hindus have experiences. So I don't doubt that people are having experiences. The question is, what is the source of these experiences? And no matter how real an experience may seem to us, if that experience does not plumb with the Word of God, then you've got to reject it. You have done what Paul said not to do in 1 Corinthians 4, verse 6. He said, do not exceed what is written. And when we exceed what is written, when we exceed biblical parameters, we are opening ourselves up to demonic influence and demonic suggestion. So we've got to, we've got to recover a, a sufficiency, a sufficient view of God's Word.